okay? You don't look at something like this, okay? Bitcoin futures, you don't look at digital currency and just dismiss this. Do not do this. This is serious, people. That's a 5% haircut, 5%. Can you imagine if the S&P were down 5%? They would shut the market, it would be closed. There'd be a, a lock limit when it's down seven and a half percent. Automatically, they suspend and shut the market down for two hours to cool, to, you know, cooler heads prevail. They would protect it. Digital currency, they don't have a stopgap measure to shut this down. This thing could go to zero. Now, it's not going to go to zero. I'm just saying theoretically it could, but it's looking like a landslide potential. I warned you, this is a scam. It's worthless. It's not worth anything. There's no integration factor here. There's a lot of talk. There's a lot of narrative. There's a lot of institutions who buoyed this up because they basically, you know, designed and basically pulled in people into their ETFs. There's the BlackRock, this, there's there, the, the blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine. But that is behind you. You got to look ahead. What's the catalyst to drive it higher? Yeah, I know there is none. The only catalyst to drive it from 38 to 73 was what? Bitcoin's being blessed by BlackRock and everybody's jumping on board trying to build their own Bitcoin BTFs. Of course, they rope in the retailer. The institutions have already, they already sold. They're out. So now the bag holders or the retail people who are now waking up going, did I really buy this at 73,000 and now it's down to 61,000? Okay, now they're in a panic and they realize that when they look down the mountain, it could drop to 38,000. Will it? Remains to be seen. But to me, the most important is the monthly indicator.